Pencils down. Oh, baby. pencils <laughs> there down. It is. Wow. Pencils wow. down. That was scary. Here we that are. That was scary. That was scary. And you I look, we uh, we were very scared. We can't we can't go this behind the curtain. No. But it just trust us. It was that scary. Was, whatever just happened before you guys started listening was frightening. Was frightening. Mm. I mean, scary. Is that a good? I mean, way not to put as it? scary as watching Daniel Jones drop back to throw a pass. If you're a Giants but fan, scary. that's got to be. This. If you're a Giants fan, that's got to be mortifying. Um, <laughs> if you're a Cowboy, Commander, or Eagle fan, that's what you, wanna you, you want to have happen in the game. Back. That's what you. You want don't want him happen. running around. No, no, because he'll make a play. Then he'll make a play with his leg. He'll actually get a first down. You throw the ball, he's yeah, not. You make it an exception. <laughs> yeah. You just... So, here we are. We warned you yesterday. Yeah. We're not. There's no Cody today. We no Cody. warned you. He's, we goddamn warned you. He's got another round table with Charlie Kirk. And, yes, uh, it's a. There, <laughs> it's Tucker. Oh man, it's uh, very well. They're very excited that England is now a patriarchy again. Yeah. They're very excited. They're glad That's to have a, a, big, a dick and balls back with the crown. Dick and balls back, back wearing that shit. Because <laughs> that matters. Um, yeah. Oh, God. Uh, so, um, it. Um, <laughs> okay. It's, it's always the loseriest dudes who proclaim to be part of the patriarchy. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's always the guys that you wouldn't want representing anybody <laughs> in anything. And that, usually the least masculine people. Usually the least. Usually the ones who, you, oh, not afraid to take a punch from that guy. <laughs> yeah, like, I'll give you the first three. Yeah, I'll give you, yeah, I'll give you three shots. Because <laughs> I'm very confident I'll be just fine and I'll, I'll, I'll get you after that. Always. Oh, God. Well, here we are. This is us right here. Ramble. Eddie, it's yeah. a palindrome. Ow, ow, ow. Two, three. Uh, uh. Three, two, three. Three, uh, two, three. Two, mm-hmm. three, three, two, three. Uh, three, uh, two, three, three. Uh. <laughs> there it is. Should that be our new theme song? <laughs> for this episode, for sure. For every episode, we just say three. the name of the song. Two, 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 three. Two, three. Three, two, three. Uh, rant, uh, bolt, three, two, three, three, two, three. Uh, we got a hell of a show, Eddie. Do we? What's in store? A lot of controversy in our top five prequels, I think. Okay. I now I'm not gonna be like Cody and shut it down. I'm gonna allow these people to have their say. <laughs> Cody but, doesn't like dissenting uh, opinions. No, if no. somebody, if you, if you get it wrong on Cody's watch, you yeah. get it wrong. You get That's, it wrong. There's no uh, rebuttal. There's no appeal. No, there's no chance to be like, well, wait a minute. No. No. Nope. It's wrong. That's that's the Cody way. That's and I'm not mad at that. At, no. At, at, you know. That's who he is. We. You know what I am it. mad at. You know what I'm mad at. You know what I'm hopping mad what at. What are you? What are you piping hot about? Eddie, mad is the wind. Is that fair? Mad is, mad the, is wind. the wind. Wow, I've never seen you that mad. I had right. We're still deadlocked at 131. Oh, now I'm mad as the wind. Right. See, I've never been mad as the wind before. And now you guess and now I'm mad as the wind. Locker Miltic still your king of the fucking positive oh, text review dude. hill. Wow. He's When's become he's change? becoming our, uh, our, 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 our Bob Backlund. Our, he our, really he is. It's crazy. It, the run he has, he's having right now. He's having a Bob Backlund-esque run. <laughs> a Bob Backlund-esque run. Trumper? Bob Backlund, what do you think? If you, if you... He was the original Trumper. Don't you remember that gimmick he had when he came back? That's right. The, all the American shit, right? Yeah. That's oh my god! That's who I Trump forgot. stole it from. He ripped his shit off from Bob Backlund. See, there it is. <laughs> That's all I it forgot is, man. all about it's that. This is Bob Backlund. He's just stealing Bob Backlund shit. <laughs> oh god, that's oh boy, that's a oof, ouchers. Yeah. So, um, what's more impressive? What? Albert Pujol sitting, hitting 700 home yeah. runs for his career. Yeah, yeah. Aaron Judge possibly ha- possibly have gotten to 61 by the time you hear this. Yeah. Or see this. Or we're 3-2-3. Three, three. 
I mean, I think you could you could probably bounce around seven hundred and sixty one. Those are interchangeable at they two really and three. At two and three. Right, right. But us, but us at three, two, when three. When were we written off? Two or three. I don't remember which one. And it was now around, it's three, two, three. Right. Which and is, you know, poetic justice. Nobody questioned Pujols when he's he set the league on fire the second he stepped on the yep. mound. Uh, the, uh, not the mound, but the, uh, the, the, plate. The, the home plate. Same thing with Aaron Judge. Yeah. Aaron Judge was like, this guy's going to be awesome. They Second were anointed from the, the beginning. From, from the, the beginning. The minute they hit them, the plate, they were, yeah. that's it. Yeah. Rightfully so. We've had people trying to tear us down since day one. Since day one. Day one. And Aaron look at now. us now. Look at Still us going now. strong. Wow. Look at, and three, Ramble two. first. That's what I say. Ramble, Ramble first. first. Ramble first. <laughs> you can email. Do you know you can email us, Eddie? <laughs> You can. We 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 email each other all the time. All the, the time. Ram, ramble at the ramble. That's the only way we communicate. Dot com. It's the only way we talk. It's, a, it's a, Twitter at podcast ramble one. Instagram at podcast ramble. We got a T public merch page. It's still there. You know, Mister Absentee Ballot over here yeah. was supposed to was supposed to put up a new one. There was all this talk about it. I mean, it was it was I was the one getting all of the flack for not getting him the all files. All the pressure for not getting the files to him. And now it's been all the, over now, a year since I've given him. I handed over all the material. He, and he's sitting on that in Willow. Yeah. It's not. some. It's, they're in some box in Mar-a-Lago. The, <laughs> that's where they are. Willow and all the files from the All Rambles that shit. Merch. They're just some, some box. Some in a classified <laughs> file in Mar-a-Lago. <laughs> Maybe they're bar- they could be buried with Ivana. With I, Ivana. I, I, with Ivana Trump. They're, they're there with Ivana. They're, they're ser- sharing a table. Or Ivanka. Which one died? Ivana. Okay. Cuz the daughter. Nuz the mom. Uh (laughs) Uh-huh. Nuz the mom, cuz the daughter. (laughs) Um, Yeah. (laughs) So. Yeah. Can we, do we imagine the theme song, Eddie? I, I, I have it in my head. All right. And if you know the words, there it is. Sing along. You ready for this? You made a fool of me, but them broken dreams have got to end. Hey, woman, you got the blues Cause you ain't got no one else to use There's an open road that leads nowhere So just make some miles between here and there There's a hole in my head where the rain comes in You took my body and played to win Ha, ha, woman, it's a crying shame But you ain't got nobody else to blame Everybody Evil woman. Evil woman. Evil woman. There we go. Bam. Mm. There it is. And that's a that's a teaser, Eddie. That is. That's a teaser. Oh, okay. we, uh, it's good. There will be a payoff for that at the end. Oh, I can't of wait. This I love a good plant payoff. There's a plant and then a payoff at the end of this episode. I love it. It's ha- have you been watching Rings of Power? I haven't. I'm getting through the boys right now, and then I, I may tackle that one next. I, I'm still watching it, but I don't like it. I heard uh, you told me before it's you're not a super big fan of. Not it. a big fan. Not, you know, like uh, the, the the Black uh, Hobbit, right? Or the Black uh, Dwarf really turned you off. That upset me. It ups- God damn it! It upset me. I don't. <laughs> I didn't. Magical creatures are white. Magical tree. What's next? It's gonna be a black tree. One of them talking trees gonna be African American. Why don't we just have a goddamn Puerto Rican dwarf while we're at it? <laughs> like, yeah. Okay. Why All not? Right. Who why cares? Not? Who cares a shit. It's why? Mean. Why are you not liking it? It's. It's. It's shot lame. It's a billion dollars. So visually is what upsets visually, you. Visually, so it story. looks like, this, and the story is like, okay, it, man, I, I like a lot of what's happened. There's a, there's an elf character. Now he's a black man, so that might upset uh, a I'm lot already, of people. I'm you mad. Can't the, have I'm a, mad as the wind again. You can't have a black elf apparently, but uh, he's great. Yeah. He's probably my favorite character in the show so far. Okay. Uh, Galadriel is fantastic. Okay. The woman who plays her, um, but and that's it, who. What's her face played in Lord of the Rings? The Blanche. 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 Yeah, that's Blanche. Who, Blanche. That's, Blanche. Who, that's who she played in the right. movie. Okay. But this is a thousand years before. Right. Still um, hot. Younger. Still, oh, not that much younger, really. 
but yes, of course, yeah. Like, and then um, there's, but it, it's it. Okay, can mm-hmm. I tell you what bothered me from the beginning? Please. Yes. This thing looks like it, it cost a billion, one billion mm. dollars, and everything the elves wear. Everything, their cutlery, it all looks like home goods. It all looks like shit you can get at home goods. So set props and set kind of went they, a little cheap. It doesn't make sense. They went big on location and filming. And and shitty on everything else. Mm. And then it shot. Are there price tags and anything? I'm waiting for that. I'm waiting to see one of the elf guys drink, and then there's a fucking home goods tag, a TJ Maxx tag at the bottom of his goblet. Like, it's – and then, like, it's just – it's just kind of dorky. It's Mm. kind of like – and I know it's nerdy shit, but it's done in a – like, there's nothing – like, the the Hobbit people, the the, the Harefoots or whatever, I guess the the, – ancestors of the hobbits okay right yeah they're just they're just it's like you're watching uh, every time they're on screen it's like it's like as if someone gave willie ames a billion dollars to shoot a bible man episode oh it's just i'd love to see that it there's i I, yes i would like to see that too (laughs) what would that be a billion dollar bible man imagine but it's like the, it's like they gave him a bill, especially that it's like that with a few. It's it's just kind of lame. I don't know how to explain it. Hmm. It's but parts of it are good. It get, it's getting better. Yeah. It, how these, many episodes are it? I am. I don't. So far, there's five. I don't know how many they're going to. Oh, they don't really they don't release the whole batch at once, right? No, Amazon. It's every Friday, uh-huh. and like there's it's this. It's getting better. Like now that there's like. More like legit bad guys showing up. It's yeah. getting it's getting better, and then like and I, I don't know. It's there's I don't know how they're gonna do this, but so you know the, the episode one is Galadriel. She's uh-huh. got a feeling. She's got okay. a sneaking suspicion right. that Sauron is up to no good. Okay, right that the 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 the, the mentor. So basically, Sauron is Skeletor. To Morgoth's Morgoth's Hordak, gotcha. right? That was his. That was his mentor. Right. They wiped him out a long time ago, and she thinks that Sauron's back, starting to fuck shit up. Gotcha. And so I, I assume it's going to end because that you introduce. I don't even know the guy's fucking name, but um, the elf that makes the rings, right? Okay. Like you, he's so we're getting we're getting to that part now where they're making we're, the rings. Not yet. Not yet. Still haven't made shit yet. Okay, but, uh, that's what we want to see with this, right? The making yes. of the rings. Do we want to see the making? And uh, I mean, there there hasn't been a ring yet right, in okay. the show called Rings of Power. Right. We're in episode We're, five, and five, not a ring. Not, not, not a, ring. a ring. Not a hint okay. of a ring. Right. And um, <laughs> but oh, that's fine. I ain't mad at it. I think episode two, you'd start seeing some rings. I would think maybe, like, maybe uh, end of episode hey, one. Hands looking a little empty there, pal. Good. Little bear. You know. Need to need to put some action on that thing. You think, you think, you think it's, and then like, um, but it just everything is. It just everything looks too bright and shiny. You know what I mean? It just it there's it there's no. Was well, that intentional? Is everything supposed to be bright and shiny? Like before guess, the rings come around or- and sort there's of already orcs and shit. You know, right. like it's. But everything just it well, it's all... like it's like Lucas's excuse for the prequels. They were bright and shiny because it was before the Empire took over. Right. And then in the in the original trilogy, everything's broken down and dirty because the Empire sort but of it looked way better and it was more realistic. And <laughs> right, this it, it. But this is like it's just and it's finally getting a little like okay some. But all right, I'm gonna spoil one thing. Okay, at the end of episode one, a meteorite yeah. lands. And the okay. stupid fucking Hobbit people who are they're, they're the Harefoots. The Harefoots. They're the most annoying characters in TV history. Maybe. Wow. Maybe they are. It's wow. They are Gungan esque in how annoying they are. Okay. Um, they it's they so a meteorite lands and one of the annoying ones goes and finds it, and inside the meteor is a half naked guy with a big gray beard uh-huh. covered in a gray kind of 
cloak. So thing. we're thinking Gandalf the Grey. Gandalf the Grey, because, you know, his love of the halflings. Right. This could have been where it started. He's a right. little scary. He has amnesia. They banged they, him. They ran a they train on him. They fucked him. They fucked the shit out of him. They all just... That would have been more interesting. <laughs> like, well, let's fuck it and see what happens. <laughs> What's, What's the thing? motto of the Harefoot? Let's hair fuck foot. it and see what happens. Let's fuck it and see what happens. <laughs> well, it's their creed. already a better show. <laughs> <laughs> the creed of the, the Harefoot. <laughs> the Harefoot is let's fuck it. <laughs> see what happens. Written in Elvish on some fucking. <laughs> he can only be seen in fire. You got to yeah. put it on fire. Yeah. Like... Fuck it and see what happens. What does that mean? Well, it means let's fuck it and see what happens. <laughs> oh, that'd be great if that was on their ring that they get. <laughs> let's fuck it and see what happens. <laughs> like, that's why that's why the Shire, they, he didn't mess with He kind of wanted to leave them alone. Sauron is like, look, I'm good. Did you imagine <laughs> watching that with your kid and then that pops up and you have to explain it to your child? <laughs> Because you're, like, in shock, too. Because <laughs> you're not expecting it. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, Sauron wanted to leave the halflings alone for obvious reasons. When when he's like, no, you know, we don't need to send. Yep. We're good. Yeah, we, we're don't good. Need to, we don't need to send anything. <laughs> we're good. I, they, got, they got one move, and I don't want any part of it. I have enough riches and power. <laughs> I'm, I've, conquer, I've conquered enough. I don't need to go over there. <laughs> Maybe that's punishment. Like if you're an orc battalion that fucks up, <laughs> they send you to the shire. They send you to the shire, <laughs> and they just have a party and just let's fuck it and see what happens. Let's fuck it, see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. So, but like it's yeah. people like could here's what's and maybe I'm gonna give you a maybe. Uh huh. But all the websites, there was like, could that be Sauron? That the, the the guy who landed with the meeting oh. could do that shower. I'm like, it's fucking enough. It's, it's, Gandalf. Just, it's Gandalf. Enough right. already. Enough already. Yes. Enough already. He's being friendly with these things now. Yeah. Enough. Yeah, he's still a little weird and dangerous and like he, he killed a bunch of fireflies with a spell and then he she took command over ice. In this, which is a Saur Saruman kind of move. Saruman, yeah. Because remember when Saruman made the snow happen right. when they were on the mountains? But I'm still, I'm still thinking. You it's still think it's G. Gandalf and not Saruman. So why are we wasting fucking five episodes? Just enough. It's, Just it's do like, it and move forward. Let's get him going here. Let's Maybe it's another one of those things where they just did not have the material like they did when, when Peter Jackson tried to make The Hobbit. Trilogy. Trilogy. They didn't and have he just, there, there was one book he tried to stretch into three movies. Well, because apparently they aren't allowed to use any of Tolkien's shit for this. Oh, like so there's they, just a lot. It's all filler. This is just, just all, all filler. It's That's just all another fucking... problem. It's all, if I'm not mistaken, they, they weren't allowed to it's use... It's all styrofoam peanuts. It's just That's fucking... That's all this is. They were. They, I don't think they could use... Whatever those fucking 40 books he wrote after The Lord of the Rings, they're just like the Wikipedia books. Right. Where it's just... Uh, this, they can't use this, any of that shit? I don't think so. I think I don't think they have the rights to But they can use the characters from... I guess they can use the characters, but... Um, let me see. I'm going to look this up to make sure. Why, but would yes. you, why would you undertake this if you did not have the rights to use the material? Why would you sink a billion... Why would you sink a billion? I mean... It seems like a huge misstep to uh, undertake this and not have the rights to use all the source material. You would think. Like you you're, think. you're set up for failure at this point. It's... it. Yes. I, I don't... I, I'm trying to think if, like... Let me see. Um... Yes, so Rings of Power is not based on a book Tolkien wrote. So, it's weird. Um, so, it's not even considered part of the real canon of the story. Yeah. Right? It's, yes. It's one of the big, uh, the big misconceptions of adaptation of the Silmarillion. It's not. Isn't based. Uh, there's some confusion as to what Amazon has the rights to. So, <laughs> they can't even. Why would you make this? I know they bought they bought like a couple years ago they bought the rights to all of like the Lord of the Rings trip like they bought those movies right they own that I think, that I think stuff they own so I guess they're the trying movie. to capitalize on owning that stuff by making a prequel to everything but if you don't right. own the entire 
catalog of the Tolkien stuff and you can't use it. Why are you doing exactly? What are you doing? Because no one's got no true fan of the work is going to consider this part of the work. Yes, it's that's right. Very much so. It's so like if I some guy made like a Star Wars fan prequel movie and put it out there, you're not like... But they can't use... It's like the David Bowie movie they put out a few years ago where they couldn't use any of Bowie's music. Why am I watching this fucking thing then? It's... I don't know. We'll see. I But it, it's it's gotten weird. a little better. But anyway, it's time for hats. Eddie. Oh, Let's yeah. get down to it. Uh, this is... The, the Terminator Kills goes on the Hall of Fame mm. hat. Mm-mm. Wow. This was an easy one for me. The American and most of the Ramblers, it appears. The American Dream, Dustin Jacobs, goes for the Hasta La Vista baby. Joshua Snyder, great to see the cohesive unit back in action. Well, it was, wasn't it, Joshua? Thank you. But, yeah, now Cody abandoned us again. Gone again. Day baseball and gambling. He goes the Hall (laughs) of Fame cap. Cody's out there with the fucking hair foots, fucking it and finding out, seeing what happens. (laughs) <laughs> um, he has a T-1000 stabs John Connor's foster dad through the milk carton. It's a great one. Bonfrisco, St. Patrick A. Bonfrisco. He has the image. He's awesome email sending us the image of the father getting the fuck, getting brained yeah. or getting mouthed with the blade. I call this one don't die over spilled milk. I like that, Bonfrisco. I like Catchy. that. Gemma from the Talking Codswallop podcast. Gems. Gems. Hey, Jerry, Eddie, Cody, and the Ramblers. Happy palindrome episode. Jerry, fuck cancer. Thank you. That, yeah. that shit needs to fuck off now. I agree. I hope you're doing okay-ish. I am. Thank you. And we're all rooting for you. I appreciate it, Gemma. Thank you so much. Cody, I hear there's a new cure to end all cancer for those I'm going to root against you. All right. That's fine. I, we need the contrarian. Because I... <laughs> If I root against you, I think I, I think you have a better shot. I think okay, all right, that makes sense. Because I root against all these teams that play my commanders, and, and they, they always win. seem to win. Okay, so I, like I think this. if I root against you, that's the way to go. The reverse psychology, the reverse yeah. jinx, team the reverse cancer. jinx. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she says, she says, Cody, too bad he can't hear this. I hear there's a cure to end all cancer for those you love. It's crazy, but it's true. Watching Willow. There you oh, go. Oh, see. Wow. Man, there it is. Thank you, Gemma. I've never seen any of the Terminator films, so I had to use my friend Google for this one. It has to be Drink Your Milk because wow. it's the first one I found, LOL. All right. Well, probably even... visually, it's probably the most uh, common one, I would think. Yes. The most popular. And that's my pick, baby. Your foster parents are dead. That is it. What was yours? I went with the Bill Paxton kill in the first Terminator the when first... he just fucking punched him through the stomach. The first cut is the deepest. Because that's that, when I first saw that, I'm like, oh, that's what this movie's going to be. Like, this, this guy, is just a robot this that does not fuck around. Right. This dude, he's not Optimus. He's yeah, not he's friendly. Just, he's just killing people. So I'm, watch, a, I'm not just watching a sci fi movie, I'm watching a sci fi horror movie. You're why. That's true. That's a great so, point. That's kind of why that, that one always stuck in my head. The other ones are great, but right. that one stuck in my head. Right. Right. I think Cody, for whatever reason, his pick is the Creed song with arms wide open. Okay, that's what he got. It's weird. Cowboy Fandily dies. He is. <laughs> Ramble 324, Eddie? Yeah. What Metallica song goes on the hat? Oh. Ooh. 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 Ramble at the RamblePod.com. Get those emails in. Yes, I'm a fan of their older works, not so much their newer stuff. But Right, right. I'm, ooh, it's, ooh, even that's a tough one. The older stuff. It's the older tough. stuff is where that's where it's at. Whew. Open close encore, Eddie. Okay. This is Hannibal Lecter lines of dialogue. The American Dream, mm. Dustin Jacob. You open with fly, 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 little starling, fly, fly, fly. Mm-hmm. You close with I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. And you encore with oh, and Senator, just one more thing. La via suit. It's a good one. It's good. Snyder? Snites? Snites? Snitesies. Snites. You open <laughs> when Clarice asks Lexter, Le- Lecter about who murdered Benjamin Raspel. He replies, who can say? Best thing for him, really. His therapy was going nowhere. Ooh, good one. Close from Red Dragon. Dear boy, I admire your courage. I think I'll eat your heart. Encore from Signs of the Lambs. Him and Dustin Jacobs are going to the same concert. Oh, and Senator, just one more thing. Love your suit. There we go. Patrick A. Bonfrisco just dropped one. Wow. And he shows the image of the phone call. I do wish we could chat longer, but I'm having an old friend for dinner. Ooh, that was Mm. a good one. 
Gemma from the Talking Codswallop podcast. Gems. Gems. Now, Gems. this is my wheelhouse. Gotta love Hannibal Lecter and all things horror. Oh, but I think it's easy to mistake understanding for empathy. We want empathy so badly. Maybe learning to make that distinction is part of growing up. It's hard and ugly to know somebody can understand you without even liking you. That's a quote. Close. There's a common emotion we all recognize and have not yet named. The happy anticipation of being able to feel contempt. Encore. You asleep? You're quite beautiful, Clarice. Oh, shit. Mm. Man, she went deep with those. I think those were all book cuts. Those were all novels, yeah. I believe. I went, I had to open with, I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. Yeah. My closer mm-hmm. is the one no one picked, and it hurts me a little bit, Eddie. Oh, oh. But it was the guy who tells Clarice he can smell her cunt from here. Ah, uh, yeah. And then when he's leaving, he throws a jizz in her throws face. Throws jizz on his face, yeah, yeah. And then, um, and then... Lecter, because he felt bad, talked the guy into killing himself that night. Yeah. Migs, multiple Migs. And then he asked, then Lecter later on asks her if she's fucking her boss. And then she's like, I don't like that question. He goes, quite frankly, it sounds like something Migs would say. And he goes, not anymore. <laughs> That's my closer, the not anymore. Ooh, that was good. And then my encore, yeah. I had to agree with the American Dream and with Snides. I do wish we could chat longer. But I'm having an old friend for dinner. Eddie? That's my. That's what I open with. Oh, I open shit. with that one. Wow. And then you, I, you open with Hotel California. Right. <laughs> you goddamn. And then I close with I ate his liver with some fava beans yes. and a nice candy. It's a good one. And then oh, here's where's my encore? Hold on. Discourtesy is unspeakably ugly to me. Ooh, yeah, that's that's a good one. That shit's chilling. Because that, that means is... he'll just kill you because you're being discourteous. Because you're not nice. You're a little rude. So so basically, his his the the warden was gone day one. Yeah, that you're was on the list. You're like, on the list, pal. Okay, this guy's day one. You're on this, the list, pal. Yeah, I'm day one in this fucking guy. This is my day one. Because I'll yeah. get I'll find a way out of here. Yeah, and, and this guy's he's day your one. Your breakfast that day one. <laughs> Next ramble, Eddie. Yeah. What would the genre of disco music open, close, and on? Wow. From Metallica to, to disco. disco. Huh? That, what other uh, podcast? None. You. Fi- thank you. Huh? Thank you. You tell me. We just gave the fucking Hobbits a new slogan. <laughs> and we're going from Fuck it and see what happens. Where we're going. Now we're going from metal to fucking disco. Imagine all those... If you just replace that, all those who wander are not lost. Tattoos from Tolkien people would just, just fuck it. fucking Let's see what happens. Fuck it. Let's, see fucking, what happens. Let's fucking see what happens. It's the creed of the fellowship. <laughs> <laughs> Let's fucking see what happens. Oh Jesus Christ! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. Woo. Mm. It's time to read books and play video oh, games. There you go. Bring, bring that pussy over here. We're reading books and playing games. Bring it. Bring it. Patrick A. Bonfrisco, bring He-Man's mother over here. I'm oh. reading books and playing games. Wow. Oh. Wow. 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 Uh, Gemma, add me on Pokemon Go, says Patrick oh. A. Bonfrisco. And this is, is this Jerry, read my trainer code, please. No doy. Of course I will. Yeah. To those who want to play Pokemon Go with our boy, Patrick A. Bonfrisco. Bons. Friskies. Friskies. Bons. Frisks. 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 0391. 0391. 3701. 3701. 00. 00. 74. 74. 0391. 3701. 00. 74. For one more time, get your pencils. I know I said pencils down, but pick them back up. Pick them back up to write this down. Andrea, she just gave me a dirty look for repeating it three times. Zero wow. three nine one, three seven zero one, zero zero seven four. There it is, Patrick. And if you just finally time. wrote it down after that third time, that's no thanks to Andrea who no wanted thing, that. No, I know she wanted an end to that real quick. <laughs> it's amazing what will annoy her. <laughs> oh man i'm still slogging through xenoblade 3 mm-hmm. live a live mother 3 
Mario Kart. I'm now playing Dead by Daylight Thursdays. on my. Someone asked for that. I forgot who it was. One of the Ramblers is begging me to play it. I'm playing it uh, Thursday. It might have been Snyder, but it's so he watches. So Snyder. every Thursday on my Twitch.tv for it's us Retro Rocha, 5.30 p.m. Pacific time, every, day, every Monday through Friday, unless I have a show. And so there we go. Eddie, you playing anything? You reading anything? Uh, I, Cole and I are going down the uh, the rabbit hole of uh, old video games that I broke out of the, the garage. Oh, so we're baby. just we're kind of just taking turns doing. We 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 got to the point where we're playing Monopoly on the Super Nintendo. <laughs> so nice. It's getting uh, we're getting to we're, the bottom. You're getting deep. <laughs> oh well, it, it's we're, since Cody is not here, we have less to talk about. So we're already at we our do. top five. Ooh. We're already there. Ooh. This was to top five prequels. Eddie, this was a tough one. Did you have a hard time with this? I did. I did. Now, I have I have a hard time with what made a lot of people's list. A lot of people's list. Uh-huh. I have a hard time with it. Okay. Because I'll give you my argument as okay. to why. And it died, but it, and why it didn't, it would have been number one for me. Okay. But we have the American Dream, Dustin Jacobs. He goes Red Dragon. Number four, The Hobbit, An Incredible Journey. Number three, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Mm -hmm. Number one, the one I couldn't count, The Godfather Part Two. And his number one, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. Now, I couldn't count Godfather Two because it has new shit. Uh, It's half prequel, half sequel. So I couldn't count it as a prequel. Yeah, yeah. Does that make sense? If that's, if that's where you're going to draw the lines, you have to have rules. That's where I drew the we line. You have to have rules. I, went, it's, I was going to make it my number because no question it would be number one, but I think it's the half sequel yeah. is what hurts right. the prequel. Gotcha. Does that make sense? No. That's a justifiable argument. Would sure. episode one have been a prequel if it also shows what happens in episode seven? At the, if right. half was if it was half episode one, I mean you're I you're know. dipping a toe into Cody's waters here you're dipping like a like a, just a, a toe. toe I'm a not toe. I'm not striking it from the record no I'm just that's saying, a, that'd be a Cody movie he'd be it'd be nixed immediately it would be Nick but, Justin Jacobs would have given us four choices yeah if that being Cody <laughs> I'm not doing that but you're just saying it can't work for you can't work for me because it's half prequel half right. sequel right 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 so what is it then I because mm-hmm. I don't even know if it's a sequel God damn it. It's tough. It's tough. Mm. All right. Joshua Snyder, top five prequels. Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Oh. Casino Royale. Okay. Better Call Saul. The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. And The Godfather Part Two. Uh. Keep up the fine work, gents. Best. Maybe it works as the best prequel and sequel. God, it's tough. It's tough. I don't know. Because then that would also make Godfather a, a prequel. To the sequel. To, so they're Wait. both prequel sequels. Maybe, yes. Because it would make The Godfather a sequel. <laughs> and a prequel to part And a prequel. Two. I don't know. It's all very confusing. <laughs> Coppola did a great job mind-fucking us with that one. <laughs> uh, Patrick A. Bonfrisco, he says your number five is Temple of Doom. Mm-hmm. Then you get Prey. Then oh. The Godfather Part Two. Then Wonder Woman. Then Rogue One. And he goes, fuck cancer, fight Jerry, fight, ramble the fuck on. Thank you, buddy. Gemma from the Talking Codswall podcast, which you should all listen to. It's Rogue One is her number five. Temple of Doom is her number four. The Hobbit and Unexpected Journey is her number three. Red Dragon is her number two. And then a first entrance, like Prey was a first timer. Better Call Saul, Casino Royale. That We have Underworld, The Rise of the Lycans. Thanks for another week. Sending my love as always. Gems. Hashtag fight, Gems. Jerry fight. Thank you. Look at that. Good list here, buddy. Super good list. My number five, Eddie, was The Legend of Zelda, The Skyward Sword. Oh, okay. I went gaming. I added games to this. What's your number five? I went uh, Good, Bad, The Ugly. Oh, yeah. That was going to be, but Zelda knocked it off. Ah. That's basically my number six. Okay. My number four is Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. What's oh, your okay. number four? My number four is Prey. Oh, that was good. That's my number seven. Oh. That got knocked off, uh, too, because of the gaming world. Yeah. My number three, Metroid Prime. Oh, okay. A prequel to Super Metroid. All right. My number three, Rogue One. Woo! That's my number two. Woo! Is Rogue One. All right. What's your number two? My number two is Temple of Doom. Oh, it's a good one. My number one for me, what else could it have been? Better Call Saul. What was your number one? 
My number one, it's tricky. I don't... <sighs> hmm. Like, I, 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 I went back Attack and forth. Attack of the Clones? I was going to go Attack of the Clones <laughs> or Phantom Menace. Because <laughs> I've seen the Phantom Menace cut without Jar Jar in it. Is it good? It's a much better film. Is it really? Have you? There is an actual film. cut that exists. Someone went through and cut out Jar Jar. It's a much much better film. Um, actually, I want to make I want to make a, a change to mine. I want to put Temple of Doom at number one. Whoa, whoa! I'm gonna put Temple of Doom at number one. Oh my! And then I'm gonna insert where I where Temple of Doom was. I think I had it at three. Yeah. No, I'm gonna put. Yeah. I'm gonna put Solo in there. Ooh, over Rogue One, Solo. Yeah. I think so. Wow. I enjoyed the more uh, Solo is a film I enjoyed. The more I watch it, I did not like it when I first saw it, and the more I've watched it, the more I like it. I have to. I have to get back to that. I have to watch I, that again. I do enjoy that more the more I've seen it. Interesting. I got to see it again. I got to see it again. Next ramble. Remember, I promised the payoff. Yeah. Top five electric light orchestra songs. Oh. Top five ELO. So what would wow. Metallica? What Metallica songs on the hat? What would the genre of disco open, close, and encore with top five ELO songs? Get them in, baby. Get them in. Email us, ramble at theramble.com. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. What a ramble. Thank you to those who emailed. Get more in. Subscribe to us. Give us a five-star rating and a positive text review. Just do it. Come on. We're your favorite fucking podcast. Let's get it going. Also, I'm going to do a sneak tease here. Yeah. I took a shot. The Ramble, thank you to the Ramblers for what they've done to the Ramble. I sent a link of the Ramble to a publishing company. Oh, really? And they're going to send me a review copy of a hardcover coffee table book all about Pac-Man. Ooh. So I will be reviewing that on a future Ramble episode once I wow. get that in. Huh? I like that. that. There we I go. Don't know, I don't know if they're, I'm, I don't know if I'm getting sent the collector's edition because the collector's edition has the 45 right. of Pac-Man Fever. Ooh, this, remember that song? I took do. America by storm. Now the, the the episode of the ramble you sent, I assume it's the one where we talked about Six Pack Two, where Kenny Rogers hung jizz himself. is on kids, <laughs> jizz on the kids as he's hanging there. They yes, that's what. Okay, they, that's the yeah, episode absolutely. you sent. And they're, right. we're we're now they're now going to be a sponsor. That's okay, six pack two, or I think we called it twelve pack. Twelve. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just remember Kenny hanging there, <laughs> jizzing on jizzing as on he's the six pack as he's crew. dying. He's jizzing on the original <laughs> six pack crew while their six kids watch. Kids watch. <laughs> twelve pack. I'm just, that's why you had to have sent them, I'm sure. I, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Is it played for laughs that Kenny shits himself a little bit as he's dying? I think he, that's where, right before you go to black, or right as you go to black, you hear the fart, the, re, the release <laughs> of the bowels as it goes to black. <laughs> you know, one of the kids looks over and is like, he really oh, was a good right. dad. And then it goes to black and you're... <laughs> He really was a good dad. Oh, God. <laughs> Where else are you going to get this? What other podcast are you going to hear this? And the coat of the, of the hair, of the Harfoots. <laughs> let's fuck it and see what happens. <laughs> oh. I mean, who else even thought of a sequel for Six Pack? Nobody. I, nobody. 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 And, and, now, and now the problem is you can't make one. Unless it's what we said. Without using we, all right. <laughs> how are you who's who's showing up to the door? No. Every no. every attempt would be judged and held up against our against version. this. And so. it and it would fail. Fail miserably. Oh man. Well there you go. We love you all. Thank you for listening to us. Stay safe. We'll see you Friday. Just yeah. the two of us talking some Andor, Andor? and some talking She-Hulk. some She Hulk. And man, I re- I'm gonna miss Andor She Hulk Fridays when these seasons I know. are over. It's a, it's a good it's a good uh friday it's a damn good friday maybe cody can get caught up on andor oh yeah maybe all right well we love you guys stay safe we will see you friday have a good one Bye. Bye.